All right, let's do some Python on hardware news. This is from the Adafruit Daily newsletter, adafruitdaily.com. We send it to you every single week. This is Python on hardware. Lady Ada, you wanted to talk about, in addition to all the, go check out all the project, projects and everything, but in addition to the projects, the updates, the Python on hardware, you want to talk about the automated hardware testing using PyTest this week. Yeah, this what is, is cool. this? Why is this cool? Oh, where are we? I feel a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna uh, up here too. Yeah. yeah, it's um. I'm actually I have to look into it because it's like it was in the newsletter. I'm like, oh, I got it. I bookmarked it for later perusal, because um, as we talked about in the show and tell, um, for Whippersnapper and for Dio, we're starting to use um the sort of mock Blinka to test uh the V2 of our of our Whippersnapper API and also like verify the data is being sent correctly. And we don't want to use real hardware because we want to be able to run stuff in continuous integration. But maybe we do want to sometimes run it on hardware, uh, maybe one, one, both, either way. Um, so what I thought was neat was Goliath, who does hardware with CircuitPython and um, machine learning and IoT, they like have their own, um, uh, I don't, I'm assuming that they worked on this or they, they have a tutorial on how to use PyTest. And I was like, oh, this is perfect because what we want to do is once we start mocking out all the hardware interfaces for this like Blinka system for the py fake fake hardware on Python, um, then we want to have like a way to quickly verify that when we add new systems to the protocol or like when we change the back end, we want to quickly be able to run everything and make sure that like the regression still works, like nothing has changed. Um, instead of waiting for customers to find out, which is like kind of sad for the customer. Like they'll they'll tell us and we'll fix it, but it'd be better if we caught it while we're writing the code. Um, so we're gonna check this out because um, we might be able to either run this on a Raspberry Pi with hardware or run it on GitHub Actions um, as we write the Blink and Mock code and it will like maybe even test it against um, like Whippersnapper, like we might have like a fake Whippersnapper account that we have the GitHub's actions like talk to, and then we can use REST to query what data got sent. And like, so it'll be like a nice round trip test. Cool. Basically it's like how to test hardware without testing hardware, but testing the hardware that would have been tested. Anyways, I, I, you get to this level of abstraction at some point. Um, so I'm gonna read this article because uh, Goliath has really good documentation. Okay. And so that's something that folks might be able to learn a little bit more I think in addition from the newsletter. Where would they see this in the Adafruit world if um, it works out? If it works out, you know, what we'll, what you might see is, especially Adafruit IO, like we'll, you'll see this on the back end um, as we're doing the Whippersnapper form, which is public. You'll see the continuous integration running this. Um, and also what might happen is if people are having issues with Adafruit IO, we might ask them, hey, can you try this PyTest code on your hardware? Um, especially if they're running like Python hardware and say like, can you, you know, pip install PyTest and then run this PyTest suite and they will use the real hardware, but tell us like, where did it fail? Better than just saying like, it doesn't work. Like we'll actually get like a proper report. Uh, okay. And that's this week's Python on hardware. Yep. Again, don't forget it's on adafruitdaily.com.